I remember one of my first visits in the Snefro being the biggest rig we had in the field at that moment in time. And I came to the rig, it was chaotic. We were very close to actually breaking open the contract. We were either talking about should we let the rig go or can we do something about it? At the same time I was uh, invited by uh, one of the first incident free leadership team workshops here in Doha. So I went back to our own management and said listen, uh, I think I have the vehicle to turn the Snefferu performance around. When we have the kickoff meeting for the IF campaign and we went over there, we didn't know what is it about. We knew what we were trying to achieve, but we didn't know how. Um, at the end of this day, everyone stands up and declares that it is possible to happen. It is achievable and we're going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. I have journey on Sneferu. We've had complete support. There's not one shred of uh, hypocrisy from uh, the management that's detected by any of the people. And even the, uh, the guys that were skeptical at first, they're completely on board now and uh, they know it's genuine. We as manager and leader, we are delivering what we promise. That gave a very strong message to all the teams on board and uh, our junior crews that uh, we mean what we say and we're going to do whatever it takes to make it happen and achieve an instant free uh, culture on board the rig. The first thing or the important thing is that it had to me to remind me every time to work safe and take care of my team, to make sure that all the people take care of each other. The crew teamwork is really happening, you know. We have a different multinationals here, but after this program, they believe in each other now. They care about each other. The Egyptians, the Indian people, and Philippines, everybody work together, teamwork. When we have the incident with Kieran, when uh, he fell down from, uh, from the hole on the platform, and everyone was just waiting to see how we're going to react to it. And instead of reacting like in the old days, we have taken it very positively and uh, we have started investigating to see what have caused it to happen, what could I have done as a leader to prevent that thing from happening again. So, I mean, instead of seeing people throwing the responsibility on the injured person, everyone from junior crew to leaders have taken the accountability to see what could he have done differently that could prevent this incident from happening. We get time to sort out things and learn the job more, explain about it, and do it in a safer way. Operations actually slowed down. We spent a lot more time talking, less time working. But as time went on, the additional communication before the jobs have, has actually uh, improved performance. Snefru performance curve, it goes up like a rocket. We learn to speak out and we learn to put forward our word of safety and whatever concerns us. I never ever seen uh, a junior stuff stop the senior stuff while they're doing something wrong, except here on Snefro. Uh, I have seen one of the cleaners, he stopped the company man because he forgot and he was wearing a metal watch uh, in the main deck. He just stopped him and explained to him the hazard and uh, the company man, he act well, he, he, he thanked him and he take it off. I've seen many cases when we have to stop, when something is not safe or something is not uh, well prepared to replan everything and do it in a, sa a safe manner. Sometimes these conversations in the middle of our jobs lead to uh, improved efficiency. And uh, it's, it happened recently where one of the greenest hands on the rig came up with an idea. Can we get the boat to do this or that? And we looked at each other. The, the guys that have 30 years experience looked at each other and said, well, that, that's probably going to save about six hours of, uh, of rig time, which is $60,000 in our business. So it, the more communication that we can draw out of these people, even the inexperienced uh, ones sometimes 
uh, can be very beneficial for our operations and, and uh, also it's essential that they're not afraid to speak up. The motivation that have actually driven the whole thing was the strong will that we simply refuse to accept that hurting people is okay in our industry. I talk to uh, people differently, means uh, suppose any unsafe act, I totally, I, I, I call one people and separate and explain so this way is uh, safe, this is not safe. Safety is not only to, to implement it on the rig. Basically, I try to implement it on my work and at the same time at, at home also. So, so this is basically a good uh, lifestyle, you can call it. I think about safety, even in my car, even in my home. Now a big change for me. Now everything, now I'm yeah, riding bike, use for helmet, everything. Before. <laughs> and my, uh, my wife was also complained about me because I'm always talking about safety. 